from here if you wanted to. He's in the hospital, Carly. He was shot trying to escape. By a cop? No. Katie shot him. Katie shot Nick? With his own gun, apparently. How did that happen? I don't know the details. How is she? She's in shock, I think. Might do. Yeah, I'm sure he is. It must be hard for him to see what Nick really is. Yeah. Jack. How's Nick? He didn't make it. He's dead? Jack, how wants to close on the shooting? Yeah, okay, I'll be right outside. your sister. I'll say in the stroller. Hmm. What's Ellen? Were you trapped in a cave? Well, no, not exactly. I was, um, I was waiting in a cave for Jack to come and find me. Ellen said a monster had you. Ellen said that? He listened while Ellen was talking on the phone. Ah. Uh, well, you don't have to worry about that monster. Because he's gone. And he's never going to bother me again. He'd protect you. Well, then I know I'd be very, very safe. But you guys don't have to worry about that. Because it's all over. So I might be able to go home tonight. But if I don't, you guys have to be prepared to stay at Emma's one more night, okay? Yeah, Emma brought Jack's suitcase to our house. Yeah, Dad said he'd stay with us. At our house? Yeah, so maybe you won't get divorced. <laughs> we'll see about that. Why don't you guys tell me what time you think it is? <sighs> but we haven't read you a story yet. Mm -hmm. You haven't shown me your entire rock collection either. <laughs> you know it's bedtime. Now go on, go home, get ready for bed, okay? Oh, oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. Go on and give Sage a kiss for me. Okay. You did. I'm glad you're okay. How are you? Not a cut on me. I'm not talking about that, Katie. Dad told me what happened with Nick. It's okay. He wouldn't stop, Carly. He was coming at me. He wanted to hurt me like he hurt Mike. I mean, I thought I, Mike was dead. And you did what you had to do. Two days ago, he was sitting in my kitchen, laughing at something in the newspaper, and today I shot him. Or he would have killed you, Katie. Everybody understands that. Not Mike. He won't talk to me. What? He won't look at me. He won't let me touch him, Carly. I think my marriage is over. Katie, there's only one way to look at this. You did what you had to do. Did I? Yes. Mike doesn't think so. I mean, maybe he's right. Maybe I wanted to shoot Nick. What? Did he say that? 
<laughs> Did Mike say that? No, but he blames me. I can feel it. He's upset. They may be upset right now, but he's going to be fair. Once he realizes everything that Nick did, he just doesn't want to see it. Well, neither did you. And neither did I. But Nick was who he was. I just still can't believe it. I know. I know. <sighs> Tell me you're going to be okay. I just should have yelled or something. I should have yelled louder. I know. Nobody could have yelled loud enough to stop him, Katie. You had to protect yourself. Mike will understand that, okay? It's just so quiet, Carly. It's like he's afraid of what he might say to me. I look at his face and I can see all of these things going on in his head, but then I look in his eyes and for the first time, I can't see him. Tonight. But you will. I mean, look at me and Jack. Could it get any worse for a couple than it is for us? But he's here. He's staying at, at our house tonight. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's good. So you see, things can turn around. And you guys love each other. And, and Mike... Of course. You know, I feel fine. I think I can go home. Did you hear what the man just said? I already ordered a sedative. You'll feel it any minute. Thanks. Thanks. Jack, the kids. Are fine. I'm staying with them tonight. Oh. Yes, I heard about this. Ellen brought the kids? Mm-hmm. Thank you for staying with them tonight. I want them to hold on to their routine, you know. Their rooms, their stuff. Yeah. I'm sorry I won't be there. Well, you'll be home soon. Mm -hmm. And you'll be.